my character is Korean and she um, works with a crisis response team, which is basically counseling for families and victims of crimes. And we meet her first when a Korean family uh, goes into um, a lot of grief after their son or daughter is killed, I can't remember. Um, and which was also very cool because it was the first time I got to ever speak Korean on a TV show. And that's something that I love having recently like watched K-dramas and tried to like see what's going on back in, in Korea in terms of entertainment. Um, and then she, but after that, it's more personal. You get to know her as a human being and she, you know, has a relationship and you, and what I love about Bosch to continue what I was talking about with Kat, that it is another situation where I get to show what America looks like. In this case, what an Angelino looks like. Koreatown is a huge part of Los Angeles. Koreans are a huge part of the fabric of the LA community, just like Mexicans. And if you're gonna make a show about Los Angeles, I so appreciate, I so appreciate that you make a show that also has a character who's Korean, who doesn't speak in a Korean accent, doesn't work at a Korean sauna, but who um, is American and just like, and she's very close to me in terms of, and there's one line in a scene that says, yeah, well, like, why would I leave here? I grew up here, this is my country. Like, you know, it's, get over it. It's not, and what I love, and what I love about, um, what I love about what Bosch has done with her character and written about her character is that very little has to do with the fact that she's Korean. Her introduction, you meet her that way, but then it's just her as, a woman. That's what I mean by expanding kind of the type of Asian characters that you write. That it's not about being Asian. Write them as Asian, 100% write them as Asian because that's going to push people to cast Asian. But then don't have them talking about like the homeland or, you know, all of that. Have them be Americans.